Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. I am Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot and today we're doing a reading with the Awakened Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and give the deck a really good shuffle for you and I will meet you on the other side of the shuffle for your reading. Okay, Virgo, let's see what we've got. We start with the Hermit. The Queen of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Ooh, the Five of Wands. Okay, so cover card here in the five of wands indicates we may be just coming out of a little bit of a dramatic period where maybe uh, if you have one of those nine to five jobs maybe there's been a little bit of chaos in the office a little bit of drama maybe maybe somebody left and there was a bit of a vacuum a little bit of um, too many too many cooks and not enough leaders <laughs> What's that old saying? I'm not sure. Uh, too many people want to be the boss, and but nobody's really being a leader, or um, maybe a little friction. Or if you don't have uh, friction at the office, maybe there's a little bit of family dynamics that's hard to negotiate at the moment. But the Five of Wands usually tends to indicate a little bit of um, uh, a friction where a lot of people have opinions or a lot of people want to be heard or a lot of people have some kind of ego attachment to being understood or wanting to be a leader or wanting their point of view to be um, understood but not a lot of people really listening to others or understanding other folks so this would be a good time to maybe stay out of the drama, not add to the friction, not add to um, the uh, misunderstanding um, that that maybe, you know, trying to dominate might not be, let's see, I'm trying to get this one in focus here, uh, adding to the Trying to dominate isn't going to be the winning sort of solution. You might have to lead from quiet corners or from behind. Or maybe just keep your head down and do your work and wait until sort of um, the drama s subsides. Uh, might be the best solution. You just need to kind of take care of your own... Um, business or your own sort of corner and uh, focus on your own needs because getting involved in whatever this drama is might just distract you from from your own tasks in a way that that won't serve you this this week or in this next cycle and that's a little bit echoed here in the hermit now you know we have uh, gosh here we go. The hermit, you know, of course, suggests we, we have some kind of fantasies or there's a kind of a archetype about the, the hermit being a solitary character. And that doesn't mean, you know, going to a mountaintop or, you know, being alone forever. But it does kind of mean being alone with your own wisdom and knowing that your own sort of guidance it serves you well. Um, the hermit typically uh, validates the idea that you can be someone who has, you know, read books and has, you know, wisdom gained through um, traditional sources, but also has wisdom gained through personal experience. And it's kind of the synthesis of traditional knowledge and personal experience that gives you your unique wisdom. And um, that's kind of the light here that we see this particular hermit 
um, being led by. It's a, it's a synthesis of different kind of levels of, of wisdom. And uh, so whatever is going on over here, you have your own kind of knowledge that is serving you well. And this is a really good card actually for any writers or editors or people who are bringing sort of their own knowledge or wisdom into the world. It might not be ready just yet. So if you're going through and editing something or putting together maybe um, some sort of educational program or maybe some video program that you're putting together, um, this is a this this card absolutely supports that even if you're not ready to present it to the world or launch it it looks like there's a lot of behind the scenes work that's going into it and um, when you're ready to launch um, it's going to be something really really special uh, so it, for anyone who might be feeling like it's it's taking a while or might be feeling like it's it's taking longer than it should or is feeling is might be concerned that you're getting bogged down in the details you're not you're doing a um you're doing it just as you should I'm, I'm not sure who that's for but if you if that resonates with you don't worry about the details or your um, attention to detail uh, it's that you know you're you're on the right path. Um, you can even see it in the in the art of this card, but um, yeah, this this reading is very much about kind of trusting your wisdom. We're going to go on to the next card here, and we'll uh, sum up in a bit. The next card we have here is the Queen of Wands. Um, who is very comfortable and confident in her uh, sort of leadership capacity, despite the fact that it might not have been time, you know, with whatever this is, there is a real uh, uh, intelligence, uh, an emotional intelligence in the Queen of Wands and a capacity for leadership. But she also um, understands and recognizes other people's sort of ego needs, ego drives, and can charm people. She can placate people with her charm. You don't have to be bombastic or um, be brutal to be a leader. And that's what this queen knows. She can use her charm. She can use her magnetism to be a leader. And I think, you know, in the next phase, after this, this, whatever, uh, sort of runs its course, I think you'll be able to get folks back on track. You'll be able to, you know, trust your capacity to lead with charm, with maybe a sense of humor. Um, and, you know, following the sort of internal wisdom on the other side of this, you know, sort of solitary moment or um, journey, moment of solitude, you come kind of roaring back and roaring out using all your charm and your capacity to sort of wow people with your gifts. Um, now, interestingly, the final card we have here is really in contrast to this Queen of Wands. Um, this is all charm on the outside, and there's this um, this sort of the Eight of Swords is all about sort of pinning yourself in with sort of some self-doubts. So this looks like an external sort of almost facade, like how you deal with other people with this charm and, and, and magnetism. But there's a little bit of um, wariness or this, this is kind of like that imposter syndrome thing. 
and I'm going to pull another card on this because I, I don't love ending on this for you, Virgo, because this is such a journey, right? Um, we have we have a little bit of we we start with this little bit of drama that you can dodge because you recognize this this drama that's going on around you that you don't need to participate in. You have this this wisdom um, that can be of such service, um, and you have this this charm and this leadership ability that uh, this seems like such a um, off note, this imposter syndrome or this kind of wariness, this this self doubt that comes after these two such you know boss lady cards. Um, Okay, okay, so the, the card we have at the bottom of the deck, let's see if we can get this, is the Emperor, which is a, another major Arcana card. We had, you know, the, the Hermit, which is major Arcana and indicates a real life shift. I really feel this major Arcana card is some kind of project that you're working on on the down low, right? Um, some kind of something that you may be presenting to the world at some point, maybe not yet, but it's some kind of wisdom or something, um, is some kind of knowledge based, maybe a writing project, um, maybe a healing project, something like that, that you're going to be launching at some point. Um, and here's the, the entrepreneurial sort of piece of it. The emperor is the is the visionary who can um, who's totally confident in his vision, you know. And gender is just you know just out of habit we refer to this guy with male pronouns. But you know this is an aspect of you being able to bring this piece, you know, to into the into the world. So whatever this sort of um, imposter syndrome is you, you know don't let it take up too much of your time like I get I get it a moment of it but then you get back to this to this charm offensive you know whatever your project is over here you just get into your charm phase and let the the power of this entrepreneur who brings his you know or your vision to life who believes in you know, that the world, that, see, the thing about the emperor is he knows the world needs what he wants to bring into it, right? So just focus, bring, rely on that, that, that the world needs this healing or whatever it is. Let's bring this guy out here. That the world needs whatever it is that you are putting together over here. So... I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. I hope that resonates with you. I hope that gives you inspiration. If you want to share in the comments, whatever this is that you're working on, I would love to hear about it. But in any case, um, I hope that gives you encouragement. I hope that helps you banish these niggling little thoughts of imposter syndrome because they do not suit you you can be this uh charm magnet <laughs> uh wise woman entrepreneur and i thank you so much for dropping by virgo until next time take good care of yourself bye for now